Did you know there are some affordable places to live in New Jersey? Really? What did I just say? Affordable in New Jersey, the same sentence. Yes. Can you believe it? Today, I'm going to share with you six of the most affordable places to live here in New Jersey. This was done by Extra Space Storage. They just did this report about a month ago. It's pretty recent. It's got some good information, and I'm going to share with you what those places are right now. Let's get started. Welcome back. If you are here for your dose of real estate reality, my name is Jackie Baker, and I'm a local realtor serving the northern New Jersey area. And thank you so much for joining me today. If you like today's content, do me a huge favor. Can you hit the like button? And also feel free to subscribe. It just means the world to me. Appreciate it. Okay, yes, affordable places in New Jersey. Who knew? Isn't this crazy? I know. And we were known as the most expensive state to live in, but mm -mm. nope, there are some cheaper places to live in. So if you've contemplated making a move to the Garden State, here are some places you can consider to live in that are more affordable. So let's jump right into this list. First town that we have, it's called Heightstown, New Jersey. Heightstown is a pretty small city, has a population of just 5,532 people. The median home price is $267,600. It's less than $300,000, people. Who would have thought in New Jersey, right? What's nice about Heightstown, it's located in central New Jersey. So it's easily accessible to New York City and to Philadelphia. So if you're securing a job in either of those cities, Heightstown would be a great location. Another cool thing about Heightstown, it's only 20 minutes from Princeton University. So as you know, Princeton does hold like a lot of events that the public can attend. So that's a cool thing. You can visit Princeton. And it's also only 45 minutes away from the Jersey Shore. How cool is that? So you're centrally located, yet you have access to the shore and you have access to Philly and New York City. And it's just $267,000 for a house. That's a bargain. Next is New Brunswick. Now, a lot of people are familiar with New Brunswick. It is a much larger city. It has a population of just over 56,000 people, but the median home price is $253,300. Holy cow, yes, it's definitely affordable. New Brunswick is known as the hub city, and that is because it's got great things there, such as Rutgers University, which is the New Jersey State University system. It's also home to companies like Johnson & Johnson and Bristol Myers Squibb. So New Brunswick attracts a lot of young professionals to that area. And if you are planning to commute to New York City, it's just under an hour away. Next on the list is Phillipsburg. If you're into serious rural living and you want to live way out Western New Jersey, this is a place for you. Phillipsburg, it's a small town. It's got a population of 14,570. However, the median home price, it's $140,100. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh my God, in New Jersey? But yeah, here's the thing now. It's right on the Pennsylvania border. So it's pretty far away from New York City. But Phillipsburg sits on the Delaware River and it's directly across from Easton, Pennsylvania. If anyone is familiar with Easton, Pennsylvania, that is home to the Crayola Crayon Factory or they call it now the Crayola Experience. And Easton's also just such a great little town too. I used to take my kids to the Crayola Experience and we love visiting there. So that's why it's so cheap because it's way out west, again, bordering Pennsylvania. It's actually just under an hour to the Poconos. So if you're into like the whole outdoor thing, you're into water activities because it's right on the Delaware River, this is definitely a good option. Next on the list is Pompton Lakes. Pompton Lakes is located in Passaic County. It has a population of 11,163 people. The median home price is $294,800. So it is a little bit more expensive, but if you are into the outdoors, holy cow, Pompton Lakes is it. This is the place for you. It's very cool. They have three rivers that run into Pompton Lake. So there's a lot of opportunities for boating, fishing, water skiing. You can do a lot of outdoor stuff like hiking, camping, all that fun stuff. So if you're into that, this is a great option and it's still under $300,000, guys. It's pretty cheap. Next, we have Rahway. Rahway is located about 30 minutes south from Newark. It has a population of 28,884. The median home price is $265,000. What's great about Rahway, it has a very bustling arts and culture scene. So a lot of young kids or, or young adults, I should say, are attracted to that. 
The other benefit to railway is that it's only about a 45 minute commute to New York city. So if you don't want to pay those high city rents, you can come and live in railway and live a pretty reasonable lifestyle and not be spending all your money on those high rents. Last on the list, but not least, if you have been looking to live at the Jersey shore, but you've seen these astronomical prices to buy a house at the shore, have no fear. Tom's River has been noted as one of the most affordable places to live in New Jersey. Oh my God. Jersey Shore under $300,000. Oh yes, you can. So the population in, in Tom's River is just over 88,000 people. So it's a pretty big, it's pretty large. Median home prices are $278,700 and it's located right along the Atlantic Ocean. So it has access to a lot of beaches such as Ortley Beach, Seaside Heights. You could do a lot of boating activities. And like I said, again, it's the Jersey Shore. You're living at the shore. This is located in Ocean County and you're about two hours away from New York City and Philadelphia. A lot of people end up retiring in Tom's River, believe it or not. I'm seeing that a lot. So if you're into looking at the Jersey Shore, I would highly recommend considering Tom's River as an option. So there you have it. I know you you didn't believe me, right? There's affordable places in New Jersey. Well, there you go. There's six places that you can afford to live in. If you are interested in learning more or possibly considering purchasing a home in any of these towns, please drop a comment below. I can hook you up with a fantastic realtor that services those areas. I do service Pompton Lakes because that's Northern New Jersey. So if you're interested in that, you can definitely reach out to me. But again, anywhere else, drop a comment and I will hook you up with a fantastic realtor. If you want to learn anything else about New Jersey, like the housing market and all that fun stuff, I highly recommend you check out these videos over here. Got some good stuff there I think you'll like. Thank you so much for watching me today. I am Jackie Baker and I'm with Caldwell Banker Realty and I will see you next time.